is Dark Prometheus here. Welcome back. Some more Warno. This is a replay. Uh, all these will be a replay. I've been playing a lot of Warno recently. So, I mean, I have like nine games to record for you guys. So this is the first one in a long series of games we're going to have on the channel. This is myself and Joe playing a 4v4 with uh, two randoms on our team and then against four other randoms. Uh, KDA is going to be on our left. Uh, we're playing the seventh, uh, seventh uh, Panzer Division. Joe's playing with the 35th. This is before the recent patch. Uh, this is right after the 1.0 patch, but uh, before the Airborne. Uh, the 39th is also going to be reinforcing kind of the middle, but we're going to see how that is. Posing us third armored, then the second Panzer. First armored, the British, and then the 11th with this. We're going to be playing on the right. Joe's going to be playing in the middle. And uh, yeah, I don't remember what kind of happened in this game off the top of my head. But I know it was an insane bit of play in the field and uh, everything like that. So their look on the other side is Sneak's gonna come over with the first uh, armor division. They're gonna napalm bomb. We're gonna napalm strike with artillery. One of the Mirage just goes down. We send out the MiG-23. Another Mirage goes down. We're gonna lose that MiG-23. No, we don't. That's how it kind of starts in the middle. We have both Timba and PN in the middle. Out wide west is going out to the left side. So we're going to get into the town first. And we're going to actually keep him out of this town from here. So the special ask Claire, two of them in here doing work against a scouts law 80. And it kind of confused me because this guy wanted to go around and come up from the top and circle back. It was a very weird game. I've never actually seen someone try to take this spot and then try to loop around here to this open field. I've seen it in like a 10v10 because there's only three lanes in this and people create extra lanes. But I've never seen it in a 4v4. So it's interesting. They're going to keep cap this right point. I opted to take this town with as much as we possibly could, as opposed to actually get a command out here. So they're going to have, we still have a tick though, because we have uh, three points taken. And one of them is the middle point, which is three. So middle point three, we get our command in here with the Mashutsen. Oh, the motor shoots in over here. We see his para. We're going to take out this SBW and see if we can engage. But we're going to first engage that Carl G. Buster Strike coming down in the middle. Krieg is not going to be able to hit it. F4S, which I've really been loving. But that is actually going to get out. And then a phantom coming in. And that phantom is going to be hit by Joe's MiG. MiG-29 destroys that and a helo over here. So we're still looking for this command. We've pushed it out or we've actually killed it with a bomb. SPWs were just trying to take out this infantry. T-55 is going to move up and Try to deal with the scimitar. Uh, grad comes in. It's going to hit the scimitar. This is before the grad buff, I think. Grads now are insanely good. And this is a full grad, if I'm not mistaken. It is. So it's a full grad. Seed coming down in the middle. That's the Jaguar seed that's... Ah, that's not the same seed that has the bomb on it. Okay. We mentioned that we need to contest on the left side to hold this. 
so Joe doesn't get flanked out. Buster Strike coming in right side, going for the T-55s. Kind of wasting on a T-55 at that. Stuns it, but nothing else. Then I see this, that they're actually going to try to go into the town and come out, which is a viable strategy. It's just not a viable strategy towards me at this case. So we're reinforcing. We have this Mr. Offclair up here on the road. We're going to put this motor shoots in more towards this road. Eventually, we use this Offclair in the middle here to deal with anything coming down this road. Plus, we can see anything that's reinforcing. We can give Joe a little bit of a heads up for anything that's coming through there. So, again, this force is overrun. I mark it a couple of times. And we're gonna have to play corner camping with our with ours right here. Warning. Sneak coming out looks like it's going to be a fighter. We get some recon up here. Conquers out. Once this conquers is out here, it'll be able to see all of these units moving around. Yeah, it is a tornado. This conquers trying to get a side shot on the challenger and completely misses straight up. I would really like the uh, Shisharungs. Probably mispronouncing that because of their trait here, kind of act as another recon. So I've really loved how that's been. Hilo going down there. They're using a lot of aircraft. We're going to bring in cubs here. This cub will get one shot on it, but another one goes down and then another aircraft goes down. The West gets out of his eagles against us. We're going to get this, these cubs up in this area and then and reinforce them. We're going to see if we can get these SPWs into the town and fight through this. A lot of challengers are feeding themselves over here though. We haven't brought in any artillery at this point, just supply and in more infantry. Joe is doing some work in the middle, dealing with what he sees out here. And I think what he sees from there might be from this motor shoots in. Which is great. This motor shoots in was doing absolute work. So I mark it again because I saw something out this direction. The helos are going to fly. His Creek's recon over here. So Joe's starting to get more recon. We're going to stack some tanks in this forest and we have to make sure they don't come around our flank. The SBWs couldn't actually get in there. They all died outside the city around here. We did get one motor shoots in. Artillery coming in on that forest from the grad. And we're getting, a, we're getting an AT plane out. Or AT helo out just to sit out here. Another command coming out here it's going to be hit by this ATGM and go down plus another one down we're holding pretty well at this point Joe having a lot of infantry in his town one thing I've been really doing recently in town fighting what you're going to see in some later episodes is using a my command with my infantry and then having a secondary command in the point if there is one if you're in a town which has been actually pretty good for me grads coming in and cluster strikes on the mortars one mortar's taken down i'm flagging more these tanks are kind of popping up and down then the track rapier is going to try to come out here i'm gonna get some recon and I've called in uh, an Alfclair, which we're going to put up in this area. I uh, think right here in these woods so we can kind of see what's in this town. And now some BMP-1s with some motor shots in it. I'm going to call a couple T... A 1T-72 and a T-55 to kind of be over here. We'll take that spot. Finally see the SAS patrol. This middle line is still moving. 
And there is the motor shits and we're gonna put in a BTR there. And this is gonna be the recon's gonna spot it down the road. Coming down, and then the motor shits in here is gonna hit it in the flank. Challenger peeking out again, Conquer's doing good work on it. Fire rung's gonna come out here. We're gonna reinforce this with some infantry and BMPs. We see this chieftain, and I'm thinking like we're gonna get pushed here. But I know this is a, a tracked rapier. And I'm like, we're going to have some issues if we get flanked over here. This is why I put this AT over here. And Joe's going to put some infantry recon. We push them back. Cubs getting reloaded. Challenger still taking this road down here and back around, which I find interesting. I want to kind of see what's more out here. We're going to put these guys in this tree line. A seed comes out. We turn off, or actually our cubs are both on. Seed coming in, takes a shot at one of the cubs. It's gonna kill one of them. Seed hit once, and that seed goes down with Osa fire from Creek. So we did lose one cub, but hey, I would gladly lose a cub if it means we take down one seed. Because what we're looking for is I think only two of them have seed, maybe three. There can't be any more than maybe six seed aircraft. Alf Claire sees this Challenger. We hit it once with the Conquers. Challenger does have ERA, but I think this is right before the 1.0 patch. So tandems weren't increased at this point. I don't think. And there it is. BTR taking and making an impact out here with some vehicles using this road trying to reinforce we're going to come out with our mig 23 take a shot at the tornado and miss and the tracked rapiers there's two of them over here does its work so i'm marking on the map we're going to get some artillery on that from our allies and we're going to keep on pushing a challenger here in the tree line and we have some other shots out here with a couple BMP ones to make sure there's no infantry fight that occurs. Then we'll reinforce it with these T-72s down here, the T-72 and T-55, which will peek out and take a flank if we need to. Uh, Joe's going to come out with a rocket already. A bunch of stuff coming down the road here. We are going to hit, actually hit the rear of one, but not kill it. A lot of infantry being committed way off the... The line supply helo coming in bunch of infantry here comes our t or one t55 and a t72 we're gonna come out we're gonna have no issues dealing with the rifles warrior wants to take a shot at us it's gonna smoke off because it sees both of these we're gonna see if we can hit it t55 is gonna have the first shot and that's gonna be a hit ATGM does miss the AA here. We're going to keep chasing it, but it's going to go out of range and we're going to push them back into the city. We're going to heal up as much as we can with this infantry going in and out. Tracked Rapier is going to go back into the town and we're going to heal everyone on this side. All the fights going on elsewhere. Uh, Krieg is holding down West. Um... And then in the middle, Joe was doing what he can in here. And he is a little bit augmented by, I think, Everton at this point. Actually, I don't see any of Everton's units actually on the field. This was a weird game because the, the one guy wanted to literally do uh, artillery and that's cool and all, but... There comes a time that we're fighting too many people. It's a very awkward game. Let's see these out here. And I really like the SG-22 cluster. It does a very good job against tanks. We're going to come in. ATGM is going to come out. We're going to force them to smoke out. It's not going to matter because we're going to cluster. We're going to hit one. 
And this cluster actually hits theirs with an air to air. It's going to fly over to Cub and get absolutely wrecked. So some good luck there. Joe's going to come out with a couple of conquerors and just reinforce us out here. That challenger only has one left and we're fine with that. Joe starts marking that there's a lot of infantry coming in and he's getting doubled in the middle at this point. Three coming in with the napalm. It's going to be all on that infantry, which is going to, is just perfect. Perfect shot there. They get a command in here. Joe with this rocket. These S13s are really good. 20 mils. They do really good work against infantry. So he, Ally is going to start pounding. Actually, this is ours. This is our RM70. It's starting going to pound in the city as much as we can to kill its command. So at this point, I think we've killed the command. We've pushed it out, at least in this zone. Calling for more help in the middle. And it's, it's a crazy, crazy, crazy fight right now. So logically what I would do is I would strike this because this is probably giving them good vision on a lot of stuff. HE from Weiss coming in gets hit by a buck, but can't be followed up by the OSA because it's moving because it's artillery. Air assault coming in the middle. SIS patrol moving up into the town. We're starting to see more and more out here and we start seeing artillery being popped down from our 152. We're gonna start hitting the buildings. A lot of anti-air in this town though and I start looking at that. BMP-1 coming up, gonna hit the javelin. They're trying to get some good pressure on us from the outside. But realistically, we can use our standoff weapons and force them back. Which is what we're going to do. So, Panzer Jaeger is going to assault in the town. BMP-1s are going to hold the outside. A rover does come in here. We're going to hit artillery in here and we're going to get some T-55s. We're going to T-55 rush this town. Again. I pull out this Jaeger. It's going to get striked by artillery. Joe holding the town against two people, which is insane, but it's working for him. Strikes coming in on our command, but we push his command out. Then we see all this stuff out here and I'm like, we need to strike this at this point. Like revealing all of this, this is their push. So our 153 is going to come in. Our room 70 is going to start attacking this rear portion. And we are going to strike the living hell out of this town. And here it comes. Well, it's not going to do much to tanks. We just need to put as much fire on it as possible. Ride the tank. Conquers comes in from the side. It's not going to hit anything because the smoke. But we're pushing them out of this zone. Artillery coming down now, making sure that that command stays out. And here's some hell arms coming in. A Puma PC being flown in to take that point. We're at a plus three. Well, I'm being hit by this Vassalus, which is actually doing a lot of work on it. It was an 82 mil? It was a decent splash? Okay. Challenger starts to take some shots at this Conkers. The Chieftain pops out. Conkers taking a shot at the Chieftain. It's going to smoke out. We're going to force both of them to smoke out. Shows its side armor coming out of the smoke, but we can't see it at this point. Even though I marked it, it's still here. I thought someone would have struck it by now. 
Uh, this grad taking shots out here into the town and trying to hit all the supply and everything. Uh, here's our T-55 push. We're going to deal with the SAS first and sort of work ourselves in. This Hell Arms is going to be disastrous, though. Should have brought up some anti-air and put it out here so when this does move in, it's there. We did hit the Challenger Mark III with an ATGM, and we hit it a second time, but it's not going to kill it, which is unfortunate. Conquers takes another shot. Don't know if this is going to track in. It will, but it will not kill the striker. We start getting those guys back up. Our artillery starts to hit. Actually, it's Krieg's artillery. Someone's artillery is starting to hit this SIS patrol. That leopard starts being hit. We're going to bring in this motor shoots and we're going to unload it. Our command was killed, but we've killed their commands and prevented them from getting something in here that we've been kind of successful in everything. So I bring in some Iglas. I should have brought them more towards the front here as opposed to back here, which isn't really protecting anything but these guys. Just a lesson learned. But, uh, well... Your Iglas are only as good as being up at the front. When they're not at the front, they're not particularly helpful. This motor shit's not doing absolute work. Anything comes down this road still. Challenger out here. SAS patrol with that sniper rifle taking shots at our off Claire. We're going to bring in a conquers here because the last thing we want is another push through here or push out here. And I want more. This HE is going to come in and it's going to look for a strike on this Conkers. We're going to hit it twice and kill it. This Conkers will go down. This HE coming in. It is not going to be able to get a strike off. Actually, it will get a strike off on the Cub, but the Cub kills it. So, artillery coming in and trying to deal blows to us. We bring in this other Conkers. It's going to sit in this building now which has good line of sight down this road in this field. This Conqueror's taking a shot, hits the Challenger. This Conqueror's taking a shot. That one's going to hit the Challenger. He's going to smoke out and retreat. These guys are just inside gun range. First one gets taken down. Try rungs with their... Now, this is the best version of these because they have the anti-tank rockets, so they can be out in front. But with the LMG here doing absolute work, we bring up an SBW to make sure it's actually covered by the building from the Challenger. And our Conquerors are going to do short work of that Challenger if it stays there. And these tri ranks make absolute work of these scouts. Here's the Conquerors coming in. Only one needs to hit. And one does hit. And there it is, the SPW and everything taking out those laws. So, good one there. T-55 still getting themselves together. In the middle, finally, they do get a, a actual zone in here. Go with a C doing work. Joe's still holding it. It is going to get a bit uh, tenuous there in the middle. Krieg spread out all the way on this line to try to help and cut off a lot what you need to do is take positions over here which Joe's trying to do if Krieg would take in this position here totally cuts off reinforcements and Joe only has to play down this road against him but uh yeah typically it'd be your fourth player that tries to either fills this gap or this gap but yeah our fourth player was not helpful in this other than just shooting artillery everywhere. So we're on a stalemate on the right. They start putting more and more in the middle. Artillery still coming down in the middle. There was a seat out. It's going to be a mortars back and forth. 
propeller arms coming off this right side and going towards the middle. We're going to target our RM70 there. We just brought another 152 out here to start hitting whatever we see out there. He was a helicopter that time. RM70 is going to come in. We're just going to be laid off that. Just pounding artillery out here. Supply is not going to go down, which is unfortunate. We couldn't get a good shot on it. Especially off Claire is going to get closer. We start taking the hits on the Strella. SPW is going to take shots there. We're going to get in more Iglas. There's the Chieftain coming out. We're going to take out our T-55s now. Hello, I'm trying to go on the right side here. And one is shot down. They're all the way out here. We're going to get some more down here. I'm going to get another. I'm going to get a Strella down here. The T-55 start pushing. Why well, starts putting a little pressure on the left side, but... I mean, flying your F-16 over air cover like that, especially a book, is not going to work for you. So I put the attack beacon command somewhere back here. Tornado A coming in. Here is the T-55s now. Now, these are T-55s. Against the Challenger Mark III. I mean, all we're looking for is some kind of pressure. It's not smart pressure because it's against the Challenger 3. See how much the damage it did? We hit it with the ERA. Not much. So more strategic with the T-55s need to happen. So Joe putting out more recon. That helo go d went down. We see the hell arm out here. We did take it down. One of our allies did. Artillery coming in. We are going to pound those challengers. So we force them back. And Joe still holding the middle. Those mortars move on the right side there. We can see him because it's off Claire. Conquer start now cutting off this Milan 2 and I've kind of learned over the past couple of weeks that instead of pushing ATGMs just use artillery a lot of smoke coming down in the middle we see recon back here so Krieg's just going to kill it but he still doesn't kill the sniper So he's going to bring out a helo and we need to kill this so it doesn't see our fobs. Luckily, from where it's at, it can't actually see the fob because it's under the hill. And you would actually have to go press the hill over here to see that fob. So, if it had instead path through, say, here, and came through either through there or through here, You still wouldn't see our stuff. If you pass all the way around, you would be able to see that. I mean, that's the rear of this. It's hard to see fobs. Meanwhile, back here, if you were to get one, you have the crest here. But a lot of their fobs are back here. So it's not kind of the same thing. Our motor system is being hit by... Are these BLRAs who are moving? Uh, we lost our... Actually, they put a command in here. We hadn't put our command back in there. They're at a plus four. We're going to get that back in. And then we'll be back at something. Josie's still flying over. We're going to get two more ATGMs. We're going to get them out in the city, but around. We're going to stage them up because we do need it. Joe's going to come out with some Afghanski. Because this... Uh, a lot of helicopters were staged over here. And he's put them over here. And until the Strela can get over here, uh, we're going to put it over there. 
Artillery is still going strong. This 113 is going to go down to artillery. Another attempt in air assault in the middle. Scores down to a one because we either killed their command with that napalm strike. But Joe is holding as best as he can in the middle. We get a cluster strike out. This cluster is going to come into the town. Going to hit the town. Maybe kill one or two things in there before the tornado and an eagle take it down. Unfortunate. But this is also the game we have some fun with some uh, AT planes, which becomes insane. The artillery trying to hit our artillery. Krieg slowly moving up on the left just to get some looks. An ERC trying to get into the zone. Leopard trying to get in here. Timba. Uh, and here's the AT planes. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to bring this in. And once this AT plane comes in, we're, we're going to see a little bit. So that's what we're going for. AT plane is going to come right in here. It's going to lose vision, but there's the shot. It's the challenger going to revert back. It has one more missile left. We're going to come in. It's going to fire that one, not hit the VLRA. And it's going to pop out. And it's going to be hit by, look like a stinger. And he is going to get out. And here's where it gets dicey because everyone starts putting everything in the middle. We've held this on the right. Sneak wants to get his Milans up at this point, And we start getting artillery hit. But at the end of the day, what we're going to start doing is just start hitting everything with as much artillery as possible. And it's just not going to work how they want it to. Rockets coming in on those challengers. Those armor rifles are going to get absolutely destroyed. The SPW. We're staging up these tanks to be to have a push off the mountain and get some shots onto everything back down here. And use this little defilade here as cover. Push is still coming into the center, smoking them out. Artillery keep them at bay. SPW gets a Milan shot at it, which is a waste. We're gonna come out, take a shot at the scimitar going to be killed. Milan's not going to take a shot. We're going to move back. One of the T-70s will be hit. And we'll just move it back to get some more munitions on it while we move up these Iglas. I'm looking for a response from the helos that we lost sight of. There was two or three out here. Some hell arms. Looks like they're back here. And so we're just moving up our Iglas to see if we can take those down. There's the leader. We see it with our special off Claire. And there it goes. The two Milans. The supply helos. We're going to just hit the command with the 152. Joe gets a command in here. And so we're going to move ours closer. I was going to move his closer there, but I just turned off. It's everything. Their command going to be pummeled and hit. Because that artillery is dangerous. And there it goes. HE coming in. Going to take more shots. One of the track rapiers are down. There's the two hell arms that we've kind of been waiting for. Igla. We're going to take a shot the first one. Miss it. More AT planes we're going to take in the middle. This Igla actually hits. It does. I'm, I'm fine tanking these. If it means this hell arm goes down. However, he gets a side shot because I'm moving him forward. Igla just needs one shot. 
And there it goes. It goes down. AT planes, we're going to bring those in, and they are going to do absolute work in the middle there. Tracked rapier can't kill that last one, neither can the javelin before it goes down. Challenger push in the right side. More AT planes coming in. A couple of them miss, but they're trying to put a big, big push into the town. We're going to get these T-72s up. Uh, from here, Igla is going to take a shot, kill a gazelle hot. Take another shot at this gazelle hot. The second one, it's not going to be there. We're going to take these T-55 and T-72. We're going to take it up the flank here. BMP-1 taking a shot, ATGMs. The T-72s taking a shot on this chieftain, kills that. ATGM on the Challenger. Motor Schutzen is still here. BMP-1 still going. This is a precarious situation on the right. Joe has the middle pretty much locked down. We're going to move some of our assets to our T-72 so we can see this push in the middle. This BMP-1 needs to be able to see this as well. And we are going to push out the arm rifles out of the zone. BMP-1 is still taking ATGM fire at the Challenger. We're going to try to get this Igla down to kill the hell arm. We do hit it once, but this Igla is not going to survive. T-55 and T-72 clearing out this town because there's no more buildings in it. AT planes coming in. Two shots coming through, killing as much as we possibly can. And that's another AT strike. That's good. Mirage takes a shot at this SG-22 and it's not going to hit. And now we're going to counterattack this. Challenger, BMP-1 is going to be hit by the Warrior, ATGM, T-72, T-55 coming up. This T-72 is going to get repaired. We're going to get everything back in. Artillery coming in on these tanks. Shot at the Warrior misses there by the T-72. Another shot incoming. Just out of range. It's all hot now. going to take a shot. And I'm going to move this back. This T-72 does have smoke. It has to smoke out for itself and the T-55. Strella is going to come out and try to take some shots. And then here's the motor shots on uh, SBWs. And another thing of Shirerun is just going to put itself in the city. And we're going to have a counter push to hold. Joe in the middle is holding. And we are in a situation where we are set and we are good. This Puma can't get anywhere near anything. Okay, we unload here. Notice there's no one up. And then we're going to push everyone back up again. We're doing a good hold here. Artillery from Creed coming in. It's going to go for these this group back here. Actually, there's a uh, supply right here. So my field supply is drained. Krieg's isn't. Everton's almost. So uh, I actually Everton's hasn't been uh, taken out. Uh, here is the great push in the middle. Now look at these AT planes. A couple more shots, good kills, seeds coming in front and behind it, taking a good shot, killing infantry, what it can, anything that we see, and that is a good one, good push, the seed overstays its welcome though, I think, it actually will not take that. That Igla does absolute work. We bring in our second seed, just looking for anything we can bring down. Taking another lap. HE and mission, and now this is where just things get absolutely insane in the middle. Everyone is pushing everything in the middle. We're going for commands here. SU-24 is taken down, or SU-22 is taken down, but not after the command is killed either by us or one of the other AT planes. 
Seed is up. We have good supply there. Joe is worried about being pushed out in this, and I can definitely see why. Because this is a three-person push. We start putting everything in here. Now we're at a three tick. Eagle comes in, trying to hit the Akula. Kills it, but not without dying first. Krieg with an HE coming in. Going for infantry. Kills two more. Gonna take some shots. Joe's talking about an infantry advance that's coming directly into the town. And we start putting everything we possibly can into this. No risk on the white right side. They are putting everything in this to try to stabilize it and keep it to not be a plus three. All right, T planes on the side trying to deal with that challenger push. We hit one. Puma going to be striked. This AT comes in. Does have a good strike here on the right side. Looks like an AA went down. And we prevent the tanks from overrunning Joe once again. Artillery coming in. Just trying to kill as much that we can. ATGM kills the Puma. So that's one command. There's another one still over here though. Our helo goes down. Artillery all solely going after AA at this point for me. Um, T-62s from Cray, uh, Krieg going to start flooding through here. We're going to send some T-72s. We're going to have another AT plane coming in. They keep on trying to distract us a little bit over here, but I wasn't really distracted by BLRAs out here. I felt pretty confident of where we were. And here we go. We are going to have just a funnel time in the middle. Summer 24 coming in, trying to hit. We missed the Pamela there with our 180 shots. Actually, we were trying to get closer to it, but uh, Pamela is actually pretty, pretty far. Mirage going to fly right over the Strella. Osa's going to take some shots. Miss. This HG is going to come in. It's going to be missed. i make 23, but it's going to have to veer off. Not able to drop its payload. We're going to start. Well, we've been trying to strike AA. And that one's going to go down with that. We're worrying about AA because right now what's killing everything is air. AT going there. Another couple of tanks going down. SU-22 somehow gets out of that. And the counter pushes on. Joe putting out as much as he can. Pamela out here. We see it. Another bit coming in. SU-22 having some good shots in the Chieftain. Abrams can be hit by MiG-27 AT. Now here's ATM shots to force them to not be able to exploit this while we have a counter T-72 push. So the anti-air goes down. We're going to have issues with that Milan though. Another AT plane coming in, doing work. AT helos. Sniper SAS coming up. It's just a lot of stuff going on right now. It's all about killing commands and trying to get them out of as many commands as possible. Artillery still raining down. We're going to bring up a command just in case and put it in here. Because Joe's about to lose his and been overrun. Or overran, I should say. No push on the right side. One seed is ready. I'm not seeing anything seedable right now, though. Three man push still in the middle. We're at a plus three because we've completely capped this still. T72 against an Abrams is not going to work out very well. We're going to try to take a shot. 
No, we're gonna back up because of this Bradley. Let's smoke. Need a couple more T 72s outs. Artillery is hit back here, but generally speaking, we just don't have a lot we can do with this. We're concentrating on just fighting in the middle. SU-22 does take out a one tank, I think, out of this. Yep, and Abrams do does go down from that. Milan taking shots at these T-62s. AT comes in, that one misses. Mirage coming in, taking a shot. A little pressure out here from the Chieftains. But we have so many ATGMs in this town at this point that he can't realistically push that. All right, these planes are doing absolute work. Tracked Rapier goes down with a T-62 ATGM. Okay, now we're completely kicked out of this. Now, we had one guy leave, which was funny because... I want to say with him leaving, his AI called in so many points that he flooded the zone, which is quite hilarious. Here it is. This is how much this guy was just sitting on points. Make it make sense. Because I certainly can't. I can't at all. All right, so the AI is going to help us in the center because the AI is smart and sometimes better than many players. T-72 out here, infantry trying to take this tree line. If they take this tree line, they could ensure that we never are able to get back in the zone. So it's a good tank hold here. AT plane coming in again, going for the middle. Trying to take out leopards. That leopard goes down and it will go out without a hitch. Pretty much what saved us were these SU-22 ATs. Another one coming in. We see the challengers over here. We are going to not kill one and that one's going to go down. Our first one going down in all these AT runs. This challenger gets hit by this 27 before it goes down. We're going to push up now. We're hunting. We're looking for chi this chieftain. Artillery starts to rain down in this area. One chieftain goes down. We have to move out of that artillery, which is going to put us in more range of things. This toe is right here. We're trying to just kill that challenger. We do. Toe is doing work against us. Before we start getting it in. But there's this swing fire back here. We see the challenger. We're going to put all the artillery we can on this. And here's the push. The counter push in. We're going to smoke and try to pull back. We do lose that command, but... At the end of the day, Bradley out here, that's what was shooting ATGMs at us. We're going to consolidate back here. Now I'll get Bar coming in. We have this pretty much isolated in a way that allows us to do what we want. Challenger right here, AT plane coming in. We're looking for it to have a strike on that challenger. Here it goes. Hits the Panzer instead. Another command. It was on full health. So there's two challengers back here. Second AT plane coming in, going for this challenger. It will not kill it, unfortunately. Apache also isn't hit with that. We get some more supply for our artillery. 
our heavy artillery and we're going to start pounding in the zone with as much as possible so much going on so much air cover coming in from both sides at this point unfortunately we're not getting the hits that we need one cluster actually hurting that Joe Spetsnaz back in the zone. We're kind of helping him with all of these T-62s. Another NATO aircraft inbound. These gazelle hots trying to hit us. Two get killed with that one buck shot. Jaguar hit by a cub shot in the rear. And then that gazelle hot goes down easy by that buck. Neutralized here until they get something. We're gonna start trying to kill as many of their cameras as possible, but uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna kill that challenger. We're gonna get this AT plane up. We're gonna start striking in that corner because I see it. And some more tanks on the left side. Now, naturally, if they held this plus three. For about five minutes, they could probably catch us. But, I mean, at this point, Joe is calling in the remainder of his stuff. We're going to bring in the remainder of our eight, our actual tanks. See if we can't get something in this zone. All right, point out the challenger over here. Still no push on the right. Completely static. So the fight's completely committed in the middle at this point by all players. A coming through. Takes a shot at that gazelle hot, hits it. Waiting for all this stuff to come up. And here's some more T-72s, but I didn't mention it. Actually, I did on those. AT coming in. We're going to try to hit that, that leopard. We do. We kill it. This next one's going to come in and follow it behind because the eagle is going to take a shot and then bounce back. That should give us barely the space to get this sultan. So we're going to be coming in here. We get the command. If we can kill this one, we could change the game. There it goes. So SU-22 does get a lot of damage. And here is our counterattack back in the zone. Two commands in here. This one's by Kree because Joe was out of commands. One command is killed. And the other one is killed as well. So it's back to neutralized. We see that challenger. We're going to try to strike it with our artillery. Uh, we don't have a command that can come in this. Joe does, though. Looking to push up. There's another Abrams command here in the middle. Artillery comes in on that Challenger. Just needs one more hit on it. And it'll be dead. We're still not getting it. We're trying to get a shot on this Abrams. We do finally kill that. Joe's going to get it in. Cancel it out. P-72s for these gonna have to turn to these swing fires because that's gonna hurt they have their AA up because we've been tearing them apart with these SU-22s at this point we're gonna have to back off some of this the swing fires at least Joe's command gets hit
Napalm strike. Now they're just going to have these circle around. It makes sense. We're going to pull the Estrella up. We're going to get this AT because we want to kill this Abrams here. It might be a risk. What we're trying to do is if we can neutralize that Abrams, our T-72s can counterattack and win that fight. Shot comes in, only stuns it. We push our command because at this point there's nothing that we have. When it comes to supply at this point, everyone is pretty much struggling. We had a couple of supply things, but more T-62s coming in. We're going to scout ahead of our command. So they're all the way back there. That command. Still holding this. They're still holding this. So Joe pulling in some Iglas and whatnot because that's what he's fighting with at this point. But we're bringing in more and more. Trying to get commands in here. There's a couple of Dusselniki, so Joe still does actually have some stuff. Push those in, we'll support it with tanks. I don't know why we flew that AA over that, but that was a thing. Our command gets killed by artillery, which is unfortunate. We do have another one coming up though. Shots coming in on these recon. We kill one. And we see this challenger coming up. We are the best tanks on the field right now. Which isn't saying much. And we kill it. And from here, we're just going to have to pull back because those Abrams will tear through our T-72s. It would just be a bad day. Artillery coming in, trying to kill as much of their recon as possible. We can get in here. Abrams pushing the right side. We're going to try to get some shots on it. ATGMs here from these US Conquers are going to do some absolute work. AT planes coming in, one misses. Still, shots coming in. Joe's going to pivot a little bit to the right and try to get in that direction. There's fire team dragons not able to fire at anything. So they're just out in the open, going to get hits. Our artillery starting to come in on the Bradley in the back. We're going to get up our AT planes because we want to be able to get some shots on everything. We gotta make sure these fire team dragons do not get in this forest because this could absolutely threaten our reinforcement routes. Because we're bringing some more T-72s and another command in. We kill the dragons, then it's about the two Abrams here that we're gonna have to worry about. This 100 mil taking rear shots on the Abrams. One of our Abrams goes down with that chaparral. We're going to move it back. 
One goes down. That Abrams is hit on the top of it. And we're going to try to get that one. We're going to hit these Humvees because these could be... These are AT4s. That Abrams is almost dead at this point. All it just needs to see is that Abrams. It's turning on it. We're going to just artillery strike this. Napalm strike coming in to kill all of that. And then we see the engineers coming up. That's still a plus three with eight seconds to go. And that is your ball game. Crazy, crazy game in this. One player quitting at that point. It does uh, does get kind of desynced at this, but it is a victory at that point. It's just insane. I think that other player may, may have not have quit, but I think he actually desynced out of the game because the game overall desynced. But when you're looking at everything on the map, there's just... It was good. Uh, with this, though, uh, we don't have an end screen because of that, which is kind of unfortunate because of the desync. I'm going to double check that. Yeah, so there's not going to be an end screen to this, unfortunately. So, hopefully you enjoyed this fight. This uh, It's always, always a time playing in a central city and having a fight over it if it gets this crazy. I think this is the second or third time where all players have just at the end of the game just started throwing everything in the middle, and it was amazing. So, thanks for hanging out. Go ahead and leave a like below, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Later.